Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf. You're on only how all my adventures doing. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day, a wonderful day. Anywho, even if it's not, it's about to get great. If you guys have been following my channel for the game, so a lot of things are going to be changing, aimed towards the YouTube channel and the Patreon. So I know some of you guys aren't interested in the Patreon stuff, but you will be real soon as I get into that. But as of right now, uh, YouTube, uh, I am fully back to doing actual content along with talking about the game now. So you guys will have a lot more videos, and I actually mean that now. <laughs> so you probably won't have like long breaks like this anymore if uh, if my developer or an artist send me something, I will instantly post it on here if it's worth me actually if i actually feel like it's worth posting over here but most stuff i will actually be posting directly to the patreon and the great news about the patreon for those of you guys who you know weren't actually interested in it the patreon is fully free now well it still has its tiers and it has its perks but when I say fully free, it means you guys can see every last post on Adventurer's Life Studio. And the reason that I made this change is because this was because the um, seeing how people felt about early access to like designs, any information that's going on about the game behind Patreon was kind of something I wanted to test and see what would happen. And obviously, it didn't turn out great because I'm not trying to advertise the game right now, nor am I trying to fully push the Patreon. This was just something to test from the get-go. And now this has changed to everything being fully visible and it being a choice to support the game and get it going a lot faster. So I'm not going to scroll down so you guys can... You know see everything i'm gonna let you guys explore that on your own and you guys can see what new things have been going on and what things i'll be posting about and talking about in like pretty much monthly wrap-up videos and talking about like everything that went on in that month some of them will be short some of them will be long who know who knows but yeah as i said i am fully back to embracing content creating so it might get some horror games, you might get some playthroughs, you might get some Grand you might get some guides, stuff like that. Depending on what comes my direction that I actually want to do. I actually wanted to get back into con content creation again, but at this stage I was like so focused on getting the game, you know, on the right track. And it took longer than I thought it would. So with that being like all over the place and trying to get like both my artists situated getting my game developer back on track with that you know because there was like a brainstorming stream that i had did that helped me understand oh yeah here it is we had did a brainstorming for the game for five hours getting new things in order and talking about them I do stream every weekend, still. Does, doesn't matter. Ever. I, I will always try and stream at least once or twice at the end of the week. When I can. If something comes up, I will end the stream early. Because this one was ended when I had to talk to my developer, I think. It was a developer or artist. So we went through all that. So... Could be short streams, could be long streams. You guys would have to keep out, you know, keep a lookout for that stuff. <sighs> it's good to be actually doing this because, like I said, game development and game directing were like the biggest things I wanted to try. Also, yes, I downloaded Guild Wars 2. Kind of wanted to see where they're at now. <laughs> but, yeah, it both of those things have been on my list of dreams to do 
And the fact that I'm actually helping and directing a game right now fills me with a lot of joy. And I'm happy about this. I'm actually following a dream of mine and, you know, I'm like 29 now. I mean, it's it's taking me this long to get off my ass and actually do it. But then again, I have I didn't discover Fiverr around that time. So we're getting all of that situated, all of that done and getting this dream on track. A lot of things have changed in the year of working on the game. I mean, we started how how long ago? When we were using Unity before Unity became BS. Yeah, it's been a year. It's been an anniversary, basically. It's been a whole year since we actually started on the game. Because we started out with uh, RPG Maker, just to see how that would go. Then we went into Unity to see how that would go. And we got a lot of progress done in Unity. Unfortunately, Unity pulled the BS that it did. And I'm happy I jumped ship and went to Godot. Because that path was a lot better, a lot more cleaner as well. So... A lot of things have come together, come to line, and yeah, if you guys are interested in joining the Discord through uh, the Patreon, the Patreon, if you guys are interested in joining the Patreon Discord, we have a lot of things. Uh, I even have which Monster Girls are currently finished, and I actually have a queue of which Monster Girls will be next from the very top. Is going to be the next monster girl that gets you know the remake then after that's done i delete it then it's going to be the next one then the next one then the next one and i also have all the concepts in here so most of the stuff is going to be posted on discord about this inside of the monster girl utopia area so if you guys are interested in that you can i even have questions over here if you guys ever want to just ask me a question i will try and look at this daily if you guys ever have like a patreon suggestion or a discord suggestion i am open to those as well if you guys ever want to post your own like monster girl suggestions things like that these are open as well you know and so if you had like an idea if I didn't have this idea, I could tell you if it's already planned or something. But if you guys want to put in your own references and stuff like that, maybe it could be in the game. It could. Uh, original work, I'm not too sure, but I just labeled it just in case, you know. Just in case you had like a, a thought of a certain monster and I could do like my own little spinoff of that monster girl of that original art. If you guys want that. I might, I might have to just make a just showing tag here for those of you guys who aren't trying to like you know get a monster onto the game you're just trying to show it off and we also got the non-safe work chat and a general chat stuff like that so yeah i finally set up bots as well the bots are working as intended uh alice is also the very first patreon member here as well so, I was supposed to shout out Alice. Well, no, I shouted out Alice inside of a stream. I don't think she was there for that. <laughs> I think she left as soon as I ended that stream. But I now have an outro for that. It's a little bit bright. I plan on, like, kind of freshening it up a little bit and changing it. I don't know what it is about bright color things. They just don't fit very well. And I plan on changing that anywho with that said i'm gonna end it off here I've, I've gone on long enough and i'll see you guys on the next one um if i have the time i will try and upload a grand fantasia part two video now yeah it seems like i have a little bit of time i can do that so with that said i'm gonna end it off there hope you guys enjoyed it until then peace out